Okay guys, so on September 20th, uh, actually just before that, I plan on going to Area 51. Um, so I figured I might as well start getting myself ready, get whatever it is that I needed. So I am here just outside Walmart. We're going to head in and, and grab a few supplies, things that I think that I'm going to need. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, let's head on in and grab, uh, grab our supplies. Oh, it's raining! It's so wet! Oh Jesus, I just went into a huge fucking puddle. God damn it. <laughs> Walmart, here we come. Actually super excited to try this thing out. It's been years since I had a Nerf gun. And I'm ready for Area 51. Oh, Jesus. My bad, Jesus. All right guys, so. In reality, I don't honestly know if I'm gonna end up at Area 51. However, if this video were to get like at least a thousand likes, I'd definitely consider it. You know what guys, if this video actually ends up getting a thousand likes, at least I will definitely go to Area 51 and document exactly what happens on September 20th. But in the meanwhile, let's talk about what exactly is happening. Welcome back to the channel, guys. For those of you who are new here, my name is Angelo, and what we're going to be talking about today is the raid that is going to be happening on September 20th at none other than Area 51. So what's interesting right now about this whole Area 51 raid is that it actually started out as a joke. The person who literally made up the joke on Facebook came forward and said that it is literally a joke. Now what's interesting to see is that you have literally 2 million people who have said that they're all going. Now I can't honestly see almost 2 million people showing up at Area 51, but in all honesty, even if like a few thousand of them show up, my god, this is going to be insane. And realistically, I think things could get a little bit ugly and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now for those of you that don't know what Area 51 is, Area 51 is a military base owned by the government of the United States of America in the middle of the Las Vegas, Nevada desert. Um, I don't even know if it's like really that close to Las Vegas, but whatever. Now this place is so top secret that anybody who literally works there can't talk about it. Um, nobody really knows what it is that they're hiding inside. And that's kind of the reason why this whole raid situation even started in the first place. Um, so supposedly at Area 51, they hide things like, I don't know, top secret weapons, um, you know, top secret spacecraft, and of course, E.T. <laughs> What I mean by E.T. of course is people think that they're hiding aliens or alien bodies, um, you know, of course there's, there's always been rumors about weird things that have been happening at Area 51 for years now and I think that's why people are so so curious about what they are actually hiding inside and that's why people want to get in there and I guess snatch the alien and run and, and I don't know, I guess just prove exactly what the government is hiding over there, right? So like I said, so far what we know is that it was created as a joke by a man named Matty Roberts. He actually gave an interview on the news recently, so I'm just gonna plug that in here. It's just meant to be funny. I wanna do something cool out there now that we have a bunch of people, but I don't want anybody to get hurt. Now, what's hilarious about it is that a lot of people have been coming up with these hilarious, hilarious plans of how to actually raid Area 51. Here is one example. Okay, so the original plan that I remember seeing um, so if you're looking at this picture right now, uh, in black you have the Kyles, the Monster Energy Buff, and 10 Pers Berserk. I don't even know what that is. In the green, of course, you have the anti-vax kids because, you know, anti-vax kids. First ones to go, I guess. Um, people armed to the teeth. I don't think that's a great idea unless, of course, you're going to show up like myself with a Nerf gun. Um, to be honest with you, they've probably got better weapons than anybody who's going to be showing up there. This is this is going to get brutal. This is definitely going to get messed up. Uh, you have the Naruto runners, which was like the main joke of this whole plan. Um, you got the Karens. Look up what a Karen is. Um, you got the crackheads. You've got the rock throwers. You've got furries. I can just imagine like who the fuck is gonna show up in the middle of a desert wearing a furry costume? Like, oh my god, I can, I can only see it now. Like, this is gonna get ridiculous. 
And then of course last we have the rest of us sneaking in safely. So while everybody else is getting, you know, attacked from the front, you're just gonna have a group of people sneaking in the back. I don't think this is gonna work out very well to be honest with you. And the, I guess the idea is to start this raid somewhere between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. I have no idea where they, they picked up this time on. I don't know. This is just getting absolutely insane. The problem with this entire raid situation is that I think a few people are probably going to take it very seriously and if these guys show up, like I'm going to show you an example of what happens after you cross the line. There was a gentleman who used to work for a tour company nearby and he was actually showing some tourists around the area and I guess he wasn't paying attention, passed over uh, like this barrier line and a bunch of dudes showed up and they all got fined, they all had to show up to court, whatever. But like, if people seriously think that they're going to be able to raid Area 51, like the government is going to show up with brute force. I can only imagine and I'm hoping to God nobody gets hurt. Even the guy who created this, this entire plan said that he is hoping nothing bad happens. He doesn't want to see anybody get hurt and obviously the thing is a joke. The funny part is, is that when he um, goes, he plans on doing, I guess, some sort of like events for the people that do show up. They do have some like things in the area that you can actually go and, and visit, like museums and whatnot and I guess interact with those. And hopefully everybody just shows up, has a good time, and, and that's pretty much the end of it. Now the other thing is that you also have a lot of other social media influencers who are posting now that they're they're going. You have Exploring with Josh, I've noticed, said that he's going. You got Mo Sargi going. Um, you got Kyle Stromedy going. And it's like if people start following their lead, a lot of people are going to show up. Now a lot of people are thinking that this thing is completely a joke. But if you start looking at the hotels around the area, a lot of them are already fully booked. I think it's safe to say that a lot of people are going to show up. We don't exactly know how many. Of out of the 2 million people who have said they're going, you also have like, I think it was like 1.2 or 1.3 million that said they're interested in going. I don't know, man. This situation is going to get crazy and it's escalating extremely quickly. Now, again, I'm hoping that nobody, God forbid, does anything stupid when they actually show up there. The Air Force has been warning people if they do show up, they will defend themselves. Um, I mean, at Area 51, like if you cross the line, they have authority to shoot first and don't even bother asking questions later because they have full authority at Area 51. To be honest with you, like I wonder what it is that they're actually hiding at Area 51. If we'll ever find out the truth or see anything on the inside, I don't know, one day somebody's gotta come out with something, right? So this is pretty much where I'm gonna leave off with this video, guys. I just wanna thank you guys all for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and don't forget to smash the like button down below as it really helps the channel out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is it from me for now. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. A lot of folks are taking the internet-fueled idea of stor storming Area 51, where conspiracy theorists think the government has aliens on ice, as just clickbait. But it appears the U.S. Air Force is taking these threats seriously. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin shows us tonight from the Pentagon. It was a joke, but one the Air Force is taking seriously. A Facebook post, an avowed fake designed to get likes, announced a plan to raid the Air Force base in Nevada, known as Area 51, which has been at the center of UFO and alien conspiracy theories for decades. More than one million people have signed up for the Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, event slated for late September, in which the post declares, we can move faster than their bullets, let's see them aliens. It's been enough to spook the Air Force, which doesn't use the term Area 51 to describe the 2.9 million acre live fire training range, the largest in the United States, located at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. One of the many reasons Air Force officials don't want people to trespass on the base, they are worried some might be killed. Quote, any attempt to illegally access military installations or military training areas is dangerous. There has been renewed interest in UFO sightings since it was revealed earlier this year. The military has spent $22 million to research UFOs and announced new classified guidelines for how its pilots should report them. Last month, the Navy briefed several senators on Capitol Hill about UFO encounters like this one. Oh, <laughs> 
from a Navy F-18 training mission four years ago off the east coast of the United States, an unidentified aerial phenomena. You have objects that are doing things, maneuvering in ways without any obvious sign of propulsion. It's not clear the 1.1 million Facebook followers who said they are going to storm Area 51 are real and not Russian bots. Brett? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.